Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Switzer Lake campaign in Europe Universe House 4. Alright, I've looked around a little bit and I think we're going to release Avignon. And the reason being is that uh, I don't think we can do anything over here and I don't really want to do a single province mine over there and uh, I don't know, it just seems fine to me. Like, what would probably make more sense is we attack Genoa in the future and from Genoa we release Mantua and then we feed Mantua provinces from the Papal State. So, let's go ahead and release Avignon for now, and just get 10 development, basically, for free. Um, so yeah, release that, give us all of your money, give us war reps, go. We end up paying, uh, 30 Diplo points, whatever. So Avignon should love us, they want to become our buddy. Um, they have some concerns about our religion, but who cares. We'll immediately start improving with them. So that pretty much knocks out all of the armies, and we just have a couple more people to piece out, and we're done. Supply here is okay. Uh, always take that, I think. Actually, no, supply is actually pretty bad. So let's pull off the, uh, the infantry from that stack. In fact, we'll have them... Oh, you know what? Mecklenburg is in this war, too. Darn. But until one of these falls, we can't get there. There's a lot of people in this war. Berlin has fallen. Okay, let's go there now. Let's knock you out. Money. War reps. You're already... No, nope, we can't force your religion. Okay. Let's wait till we get there, and then we'll do the peace deal so we don't get black flagged. Well, we got partially black flagged. DNA is now Protestant. Okay, cool. Seems fine. Supplies acceptable for a 20 stack. And we're pretty much out of manpower. That's a good war. I like that. If we train more troops, we'll probably use mercs, but I think we'll probably see our manpower come back pretty quickly. We do need to give some more land to the damn nobility because they're so, such fussy little bastards. Um, we don't have to worry about them on this side anymore, so we, we can easily give them back up to 15%. So, B9, Y. We're looking at autonomy, and then we're looking for provinces that have autonomy that are not controlled by anybody, so, like you. Give to the nobility. Paris, I guess we'll also give to the nobility. It's a little bit more than they need, but it's okay. Once the siege falls, we'll... Well, when these two fall, we'll be done with the war. So... I think that's all that's left, is just these three countries. Yeah, we just wrecked Europe's face in right now. That's that's what just happened right there. Hey, uh, you. Don't you get any ideas about... Independence is guaranteed by France. France is like, oh, that's mine! No. This is mine. This will be mine. You can't stop me. He's going to be mine. He's improving with me. He's not improving with you. Notice how he's only improving with me. Uh, we obviously set our relationship towards friendly just so he knows for sure that we want to be buddies. Rostock, 73 days. Let's knock him out. Sorry, France. Too little too late. Uh, we want war reps. That's about it. Come back down to here. Actually here. Got some unrest there. Unrest there. Unrest over there. Unrest over here. Force limit's going up slowly. We're under the force the, the supply limit, so we're doing fine there. Uh, we are gonna pick up some aggressive expansion, so let's see what that's gonna look like. We're gonna vassalize Ulm. Actually, let's see. If I, if I were to... Excuse me? It's occupying. Where's my opportunity? Where's my option to vassalize you?
Well, what we're going to do, I guess, is we're going to end up just annexing. And then we're going to release. If that's what we have to do. Whatever. We have another rebellion about to fire. The Swiss Particularists in Oberfalls. We have an army on the way right there right now. Maybe we can avoid the Particularists. The siege is taking forever. 209 days. That's crazy. And then there was one. Yep, still no option for, uh... Vassalization. I guess maybe because he's a free city? Just to piss everyone off. Don't really care. Okay, we're going to immediately... Release the vassal. Before we get the unlawful territory request. So, Z... Release Ulm. Now, we're at peace. We're at four to four relations right now. And I do have someone here that I intend to vassalize. However... Ah, shoot. Bef while we were at war, we had a, vi a rival slot available. I was hoping I was going to be able to rival... Um... The Commonwealth or something and break the royal marriage. I don't want to lose one stability. So I guess... I don't know. I, I suppose, maybe... Look at Brittany occupying all of France. Maybe what we'll do is just go over the relationship limit. Protect against the Ottomans. That's a good mission. 135 regiments. Oh, yeah. By all means. Okay. Down to no manpower. Excellent stuff. He's not working on you, France. France isn't working on him either. Um, as long as we are... We're, we're below. Below two, so there's no reason to wait. We can do this now. Actually, the higher his opinion of... Uh, we could get a little bit more opinion in relation. Let's wait till he gets below four. For now, let's improve relations with, uh, I don't know, people who hate us. That are not in the... That are... Yeah. Also, let's fabricate on Austria. Like, I'd rather that Holland not be, you know, outraged. That'd be cool. Okay, we still have you. Oh. Free claim on France, cool. 83.3 years until the next rebellion. I could just have a little bit of legitimacy sometime. I think we've had, two, like, less than 30 legitimacy ever since we became a monarchy. Like, it's been forever. It's crazy. New idea. Yes, please. Right, I was supposed to take that idea before I started that core. I totally forgot. Well, better relations over time is certainly going to help this aggressive expansion hole that we've dug ourselves into. Coming back at 3.8 per year. It's pretty good. Yeah, now he's on a 3.5. Let's go ahead and get the alliance. You're gonna do a royal marriage. Thank you. I think we'll accept. Now the question is, do we just go over the relationship limit? And... As long as France doesn't have any opportunity to steal them, I don't think it's really necessary. Um... I mean, I'd like to improve relations. I'd like to integrate you. It's just we still have this damn modifier until... 90. Three more years. 
We have Ulm. We have Trier. And potentially Avignon. Aragon's fine. Aragon needs to like us more, by the way. We should probably improve relations with him. <laughs> There's so many people that I kind of need to improve relations with right now. France will cede Armor, Morbihan, Nantes, Maine, and Anjou. They will cede Navarre to Aragon. They will cede Burgos and Rioja to Castile. France is just absolutely falling apart. And Burgundy are... are yeah, Maine, he's almost back. He only took one, one province that's new. And France is now no longer valid. Awesome. Who needs, who needs valid rivalries, right? Still, there's no coalition against us, which is a good sign. We did not satisfy the mission, which means he must have trained a troop. You bastard. Somehow we lost an infantry stack out of this army. I guess it actually got killed. France no longer considers Commonwealth to be a rival. I wish I could rival the Commonwealth. Or Bohemia. Or something. Something, somebody. I don't expect you to have any cores. Protect our brethren in Landschut. If we did that, we'd have to fight Austria. Who we still have a truce with. I believe. I think we're in this list, aren't we? It's gotta be an easier way to do it. Uh, let's look up at this list straight up here. Austria is in 92. Yeah, five years more on the truce with Austria. I think I'd rather not do it yet. Wait, right, I've already made the decision to go over. So there's no reason not to just offer him vassalization. I was like, oh, I, I'm still trying to decide if I should go over or not. No, I already did that. So we'll just make him a vassal. Then we'll go back to improving with Holland. Now our character is getting kind of old, so the uh, proved legitimacy might not be a bad idea. Free diplomatic reputation on our next monarch death. We can't really afford to take too much more land at the moment. I mean, it's, it's fantastic that we went from, like, no aggressive expansion up to, like, 90. So there's that. In fact, most countries still can't even join. Uh, most countries are, I mean, Holland is outraged, but they don't have enough to join the coalition. They have to be at 50. So, we just wait five years. We lose, like, four, 20, 20 aggressive expansion with everyone. We're fine. Five years is nothing. So... Should we hire another general? Hiring a general is part of what gave me such an issue with them. We have 96.6 .6 army tradition, so we're better hiring our own generals now. We're hiring a cheaper minister, though. I do want to do. We're paying for an expensive one right now. them a little bit more influence, maybe? Yeah. We'll hire the cheaper guy. I don't want to give them too much. No, let's do, let's do this one. We'll take it over to 60%. And then we will take 100 Evan points.
Okay, we know, we, we know we're over the relationship limit. The particularists are not coming down. Cremona has issues. And then Heidelberg. Okay. Nice! Finest infantry! <laughs> Let's go to war! And we are defender of the faith right now, so our next tech is going to cost a little bit extra. We're about to knock out the final little bit of humanist ideas, which is awesome. France is immediately dishonored their, call, their alliance with Tuscany. That didn't take very long. So Genoa, we have no truce with you. They're allied to the Pope. Pope's currently at war in the Genoese conquest of Lucca. So they're allies in a war. They'll probably defend Genoa if I attack them. Um, we already took a ton of money off the Papal State. In fact, I have so much money right now, I don't even know what to do with it all. Um, we could merc up a little bit more. We need four, four more mercs here. We could build more buildings. More regimental camps. We'll definitely build regimental camps in the two building slot buildings. Let's just build them everywhere. It's like the most important thing we could have. Barracks. Not if they're that low. We'll take the 0.16. And the 0.12 and the 0.17. Marketplaces don't interest me, like, at all. Maybe in Lyonnais. And Champagne already has one. Champagne! I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's probably not how you pronounce it. I don't really care. Say it the way I want to say it. You can't stop me. Particularists are going down. And we uh, accept uh, Francian now. Cool. So... That's good. How are we looking on numbers? Piedmontese is actually at 9.3%. Is it currently accepted? It is. So it's less than 10%, but it's it's okay. It doesn't it can as long as it's above 5%, we won't lose it. No one else looks like they're going to become accepted. Franconian's too small. I think Franconian's like just this little bit over here. I mean we'd have to do something to Nuremberg probably. Let's not worry about him anymore. Let's work on our new vassal. I think in two years we integrate Trier. Can we build any of these? Sure. Good stuff. Build all the things. Well, we had 8,000 ducats, now we only have two. But, at full maintenance, we're still making 27 ducats a month right now. Look at those war reps. <laughs> That's a lot of money we're stealing from everyone. Oh, I like war reps. They're great. And once this thing gets down to zero, so in three months, we will lower maintenance down to zero. We have no overextension. We are about to finish off humanist ideas. Tolerance of Heathens is not really that necessary. Will we turn on the Liberation Act? Maybe. I don't think we need it yet. And actually, because we're doing so well with combat ability, like fighting fighting um, rebels is not a big deal at all. So we might not need it. But having to deal with rebels slows you down from conquest, so you I can't focus on a conquest as quite as much. Whatever. Okay. Still knocking out 15 admin points a month. It's amazing! I'm thinking we fabricate a claim on Genoa and release... We release Mantua.
How's Holland feeling these days? They're now friendly. They don't care about all the atrocities we've committed, of course not. Fabric claim on, uh, Parma. I'm not even gonna fabricate on the coast. The coast is just so scary that we can't touch it. Ever. And we have no maintenance, no, no unrest at all. So, maintenance goes down to nothing. And we're making 121 ducats a month. That's, that's not right. Venice just had to pay a whole bunch of money. They just pieced out, and so we got 10% of it. This'll, this'll change next month. Venice is just gonna give us a little tiny bit. So, this'll be probably like 50, 60. 60 ducats, nice. And there's Humanist. Good stuff. Alright, we are a long way off from being able to do our, our next idea group. Three techs, so we're gonna temporarily turn off this policy, or this, this church power. And we'll probably go for... Probably production efficiency, maybe manpower recovery speed. Yeah, it's too man. Yeah. I'd like to, to try to not have to mer use mercs. And with all this money, I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll find something. So, for now, let's take a break here, and I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.